Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be storing more photo cards into my binders. I've been putting this off for way too long and yeah, it's it's gotta happen today. I need to put these cards away, so I'm very excited. I have my handy dandy box here, which is very full of photo cards. Um, this honestly isn't even everything I have to put away. I've accumulated so much more than this. I've just been putting this off for so long, but I don't really have the time to put away like every single thing. So I am just going to put away this stack, which is still very hefty. And then um, I'll film another storing video soon because um, I know those are the types of videos that everyone really likes to see. So yeah, I'll film another one soon with the other stack that I have started to accumulate. But yeah, for today, we just have this. Um, we have a pretty good variety of groups, I think. Um, just a few larger inclusions today, nothing too crazy. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so we can get started with my boy groups binder. I do have just one singular card for EXO, but this is very exciting. I have Suho's Mama A photo card. So that is gonna go right here at the very top. So since I decided to drop my top three for EXO, I did just condense all of Suho's cards together. So this is how it looks. And I'm now going to be collecting him like fully. So I'm gonna try and get all of his cards. I do have all of them except for his Lotto Chinese Press photo card. That one is proving a bit difficult to find. So if you do have this card, it looks very similar to this one. Um, if you have it, um, let me know. I would love to buy it and complete his collection. I did like kind of set up for his solo. By set up, I mean I put in a nine pocket because he has nine photo cards, but um, I don't have those cards to put away today. I did also buy his Mumo photo cards, like the four pre-order photo cards. So I'll have to make room for those as well, but that will be a later problem. Um, next we can go to Astro. I do have a few cards for Moonbin. So these were some older cards I got of his um, on Mercari Japan just on a whim and I don't really know where I want to put them. I think I want to put the Pola here with the other two from Rise Up with these three. I honestly don't know where I want to put these. Um, I honestly might just put them on the back for now of this page and I'll deal with it later <laughs> because yeah, I honestly don't know how I want to store those in the future. I don't know if I'm going to be collecting him, like back collecting him in, in the future. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. So I'll just leave them there. And I did set up for Moonbin and Sanha's comeback. And again, by setting up, I mean I put in two nine pockets. <laughs> so there's that. Um, NC2127, I do have one card. And that is going to finish Universe for me. So I have a Tails Universe card. I did just cave and buy Tails Jewel Case because that was like the easiest way for me <laughs> to get his Universe card. So. Yes, there we go. So universe is now finally complete. It's so funny how this was the last card I needed. It wasn't even like one of their selfies or anything, but yes, excited about that. Apparently 127 is going on tour. Um, well, I feel like we all always knew they were going on tour, but now they've made it like official, like they're prepping for tour, it's happening. So I'm very excited. And then I do actually have Minho cards, which is rare for me. Um, I have both of his SMCU photo cards, so they're gonna go on this page. I do think this is the SM Town version card, um, and then this is his just like shiny version. So yeah, they are so similar, oh my god. <laughs> but I'm happy to have them. So now he is officially complete again. Don't know when I'll be adding to his collection in the future, but happy to have him up to date. 
Okay, next we can do one of my girl group binders. I do have Yeti cards today. So I can finally put away her SMCU photo cards. I've had these for forever and I just have not put them away. But now we can do that. So I believe this is her SM Town version card. So I'll put that first. Not that it really matters, but... Yeah, and this is her red velvet version. Oh, I love those cards so much. I'm so happy to have them. And yeah, no Feel My Rhythm cards today. I will store those in my next video, but I do have her complete, so that's exciting. And then for Twice, I do have a few cards. For Twice, just three today. Um, I did make the decision to take Jonghyun out of the Formula of Love section. I did collect top three for Formula of Love, but I don't know. The more I looked at my collection, the more it just like didn't make sense to have one era where I collected top three and not all the others. I just didn't like how it looked in my binder. So yeah, I did take her out. I kept my favorite cards of hers. So that was nice. But yeah, I think I am just gonna stick with Jihyo and Dahyun moving forward. I don't really have the motivation <laughs> to collect top three right now. There's just too much going on with all the other groups, but I do have the Sana photo card finally to complete this OT9 set. Finally, like years in the making, honestly, for the set. So yay, I'm so happy to be done. So, so happy. And then I just have two fancy photo cards for Dahyun and they go on the bottom here okay there we go and I did secure this last card so fancy is officially complete the border is really messed up on this actually now that I'm looking at it but it looks official, so I don't know. Maybe that was just like a printing issue. Hmm. I don't know, I'll look into that. I don't know if that's fake or not, but do I really care that much? I kind of care, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, actually that was it for twice. Okay, next up we can do Itzy. Um, I did make the probably like ill-advised decision to collect ICOT5, <laughs> so yeah, no cards for that today, but that is something I'm working on. Um, I've made pretty good progress, I would think, but today is exciting because we're completing Not Shy. So I have Che's set and Leah's set here. Green, yellow, red. Okay. I love collecting Itzy so much. I am dying for an Itzy Korean comeback, especially after Voltage. Like that song just got me so hyped for new Itzy music because I loved it so much. Um, so I am kind of dying for an Itzy comeback. Then again, Seventeen just announced their comeback, and I'm quaking. If you know, you know how many photo cards there are to collect for Seventeen. And yeah, so I guess I could <laughs> wait a little bit for an Itzy comeback after Seventeen, but hopefully we get a summer comeback from them. I just feel like it's been a really long time since Itzy had a comeback. But yay, here's Not Shy, complete, beautiful. I do have a few Guess Who cards, or just one Guess Who card. I have Leah's hidden card. So there we go. I have actually completed this. Just don't have all the cards yet. And then for Crazy in Love, I have this Yuna. Here she is. Yay, so this spread is done. Oh, these cards, they're so amazing. I love them so much. So yeah, I'm making really good progress with Itzy and that's kind of why I felt comfortable enough to 
collect icy ot5 because i finished crazy in love i finished guess who i finished not shy so it's really just it's me and i'm just missing one card and then i can focus on icy i'm taking this really slow i have a very strict budget when it comes to my itsy cards especially because i'm collecting all members i don't really want to be paying a ton of money per card um so this will definitely be a slower collection for me but that was it for itsy okay so next we can do wanho i do have quite a bit for him actually which is exciting i have like the bulk of my obsession cards um so here i have two blue letter cards these were cards that i really really wanted from blue letter era but i just never ended up pulling them um so i did just go ahead and pick them up this card especially oh my god very precious to me okay so there he is Okay, so I need to get organized here. This one. I think this card is my favorite of the Obsession photo cards. I don't know why. I just love him in this color and his smile and the peace sign. I don't know. I just think this is a really cute card. this card so version one will be complete cute absolutely love these cards so much okay version two i definitely don't have as many cards yeah so i am still missing this card the crop top card um it's not a huge priority for me at the moment but if you have it and you would like to sell it to me or trade with me i'm down but yeah i think that's the only card i'm actually missing for this era and i know everyone really wanted that card so not surprised and then the last cards go on this page is a bit damaged which i'm kind of bummed about the seller did not tell me about the damage um, and i couldn't really see it very well in the video so yeah i was kind of bummed when i got this in the mail but it is a really cute card these two We'll fix that later to make that not as obnoxious but yeah there's version three all complete okay and lastly i just have two pre-order benefits or fan sign photo cards i guess these are my music taste round three i think did join a group order for these i just thought they were so cute like i needed them so So there we go that is it for Wano today a lot of good progress hopefully i can get this last card soon just to finish out the air because i do think he will be having a comeback at some point maybe not in the near future but like maybe in the summer so yeah i would like to get him all complete okay next let's do 17 i did split my um a5 binder into two now because it was just really full and it was stressing me out so this is now just for 17's non-album photo cards then i have a separate a5 for their japanese photo cards so yeah i'm not sure how i feel about this like these stickers with the blue paper thinking of switching the blue paper to pink i think that might look a little better um i just haven't cut out any pink paper yet so I might do that soon. Okay, the only thing we have to put away for 17 is the D-Icon. Um, what was this called? I don't know. It was like the little A5 binder that they released with D-Icon. And I did buy it. So I have 
all of Mingyu and Sunchul's cards. So we can just get started, but yes, yeah, Seventeen officially announced their comeback. It is on May 27th. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we are getting a Seventeen comeback. You have no idea. Like, it's just, there's just something about a Seventeen comeback that makes me so happy. So I'm kind of scared <laughs> about the amount of photo cards they pulled. They pulled in an Ode 2.0, so there are 20 cards to collect per member, and since I collect three members, I have 60 photo cards to collect, and it seems like they are most likely going to be doing a carrot version for this album, because why wouldn't they? So that'll be more cards to collect. Um, so yeah, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I did pre-order my first set on Weverse, so there's that. Honestly, like, Weverse shipping wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I bought a set and the total per album, even with the shipping, was less than buying the album at Target. The album is pretty expensive at Target. It's like almost $34 I think, but it's a full album so I get why it's more expensive. Um, I will probably pick up one or two copies at Target. I don't plan on getting the full set just because of that. Like I don't really feel the need to buy a full set at that price, but um, I I think I will need to buy a lot of the cards because I'm not planning, at least right now, on buying like multiple sets of albums. Like I bought my one set from Weavers and I think that's the only full set I'm going to buy. But we'll see, I might change my mind. But I'm hoping since there are so many cards and you get so many cards in the album that the cards will be cheaper to buy than they have been in the past. So yeah, I'm just hoping carrots don't overprice these cards when we're getting four in an album. But we'll see. But I am just like very excited for this new era, to hear the new music, and yeah. Let's do a quick flip through of all the Daikon photo cards. I don't have a uh, Koops's equivalent for this that has eluded me to this point. Okay, that's super cute. And then Hip Hop Unit, as I showed, is on the front cover of the spider, so. Cute. Okay, I just have a few more cards. I finally got this Mingyu Social Club photo card. So I'm one step closer to finishing this. The only card I'm missing now is where he's kissing the apple, and honestly, I think I'm just gonna buy one of Dokyum's photo cards for this set because I just don't feel like paying $30 for one photo card. Um, and I've seen a few of Dokyum's floating around for like $8, so I just might get one of his and call it a day. And then here, lastly, I have Mingyu's other ID, or business card, I guess. So those are done, and yeah, that was it. Making some good progress in the non-album section. I do think I wanna try and do a bit more in terms of like fan sign photo cards for Sung Chol and Mingyu this era, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't like, planned out what I want to do, but I do think I want to collect more than I have been for them. I didn't collect any for um, Ataka or Your Choice, so yeah, maybe I'll try and get a few more for this era. Okay, last binder. We have a lot of groups in this binder to get through, so we'll start with Geno. Um, no glitch mode cards today but I do have his jewel case card from Universe, finally. So I can put that away. 
and be done with universe era. I think moving forward, I'm not going to collect Geno for full group stuff. I'm just gonna collect Tail and Jaehyun. That's gonna be the vibe. And then for Chunla, I have a few of his hot sauce photo cards. So this is the crazy version. It's jewel case. How did I put put green up top? Can never remember if this is boring or chilling. I think this is chilling. And this is boring. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then here on like my special card page, I have this um, fan sign photo card. Was this a Mumo benefit? I'm not sure, but I just really liked it. I love his styling here. So that'll just go up there. For Chunla for glitch mode, I don't think I'm gonna be collecting him as thoroughly as I have in the past eras. I've been having kind of like a bias crisis in Dream, to be honest. So yeah, you might see some other members like make an appearance. I will get a few of Chunla's cards, but I don't think I'll be collecting him fully for glitch mode. Um, and then Stacy. Oh, finally I can put away Stacy photo cards. I just have two, but I'm still excited. So this is Suman's love version photo card. And I did um, get both of her other cards. And then I have her Apple Music photo card. I was able to find a trade for this, so I'm really, really happy about that. This is one of my favorite cards of hers. So yeah, and I think I have two more pre-order benefits coming for her, so that would be nice to round out this page. And then for larger inclusions, I have her love version Polaroid. I'm still looking for her young version Polaroid. I think I have Yoon and Jay for trade anyone is interested but yeah i think that's the last thing i'm missing for this era okay and now we get to billy my shion collection i can finally put cards away so first we have the um first mini album billage i do have all of her cards I really liked her hairstyle for this comeback. I hope she dyes it lighter again at some point, if she wants, because <laughs> I think she looks so gorge with that color. But yeah, that's Village. And then we get into, um, what is this called? The Collective Soul and Unconscious Chapter One. Um, because this is a chapter, come back I think they are going to come back fairly quickly with chapter two which kind of scares me they are just rolling out the comebacks um but I guess that's good for a rookie group because you know they get more exposure and stuff but yeah I am kind of expecting them to make a comeback in the summer maybe um, but I hope they are getting like adequate rest and stuff because they have just been non-stop since debut. So those are her four selfie photo cards. This card, very precious to me. I love it so much. And then I have three of her Polaroids. So for this, I don't think I'm going to get her fourth Polaroid because I did um, get one of her like fan sign photo cards. So I think I'm just gonna put that in the slot and call it a day. I didn't really like that last Polaroid anyways, so um, yeah, I think that's what I'll put in this last slot here, but there we go, yay! So this is almost complete, just need that fan sign card to come in and then we'll be done and caught up with Xion. Wow, I really love her cards so much. Yay! Okay, and that was actually everything for this video. 
Okay everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me put away all of these photo cards. I had such a good time organizing everything. And yeah, I'll definitely be posting another one of these soon. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'll see you soon in another video soon. Bye.